Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool Instagram tag effect in Final Cut Pro 10. And don't worry, this is completely free when you want to create this tag. There is no like plugin, free or paid. It's completely built into Final Cut Pro 10, or like the assets are built into Final Cut. However, as you can see right here, this is basically tracking to Christian McCaffrey. If you want the tag to be like, tracking the person, you will have to download um, a separate plugin from Pixel Film Studios. I'm using the Auto Tracker 2.0, which costs around $30, $35. However, if you don't want to buy that plugin, you could just manually keyframe it. It's not going to look as smooth as using an Auto Tracker, but it's definitely one way to get around if you want to do it completely for, uh, for free. But that being said, this part is completely um, free, and it's actually a really cool idea that I saw by King Touch Pro, and I want to go ahead and recreate it. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to head over to the titles right here. And basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go to the generators tab right here. I'm going to scroll down until I find shapes right here. So let's go ahead and just import shapes. So yes, if you didn't know, you could actually create your own custom shapes in Final Cut Pro 10. So I think you probably at this point know where this is going. All we're going to do is just going to create this effect using the shapes generator um, in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm going to go over here and I'm actually going to go to this icon right here. I'm going to change the shape to a, a rectangle right there. And then once we have it there, we're going to go to fill color right here. And then you can change it to kind of like a grayish color. I change, I, I do a black color. I think like dark grayish is usually um, the color of an Instagram tag. You can of course mess with that until uh, you get the color that you want. Just a tutorial, we'll just stick to this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the roundness um, to 8 right there. I'm going to also go ahead and uncheck the outline right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the drop shadow opacity all the way down to zero. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the shapes again. I'm going to go ahead and create another copy. I encourage you to just create another copy because you want the color um, to be the exact same. If you don't do it that way, it's going to be very difficult to eyeball the color. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here. Now if you're trying to follow, a, follow along and trying to skip steps, you may go to here and say, wait a minute, there's um, no triangle. How, how in the world do I get that triangular shape right there? Well, there's no triangle, but what you can do is you can go ahead and click on diamond right there. And there you go. That's pretty much all you want to do right there. Now it's time to start adjusting the position and the scale. Now these are settings that I put in that I think work pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and change the X to 3.9 right here. I'm going to go ahead and change um, the Y to 41.7 right there. And I'm going to go ahead and change the scale to 45% right there. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the position of the diamond, the scale and everything like that. So I'll go ahead and change the X to 2 right there. Change the Y to 4.7 right here. And then I'm going to change the scale um, to 30% right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head to the crop right there. I believe it's the bottom and type in 620 right there as you can see let's go ahead and zoom in right there there you go now that looks a lot more like an instagram tag um right there so here are the scale position everything for the um, diamond and then here is the scale and position everything that for the rectangle right there as you can see and if you wondered how in the world i got like the right dimensions there actually is a free instagram tag that i'll put down in the description below um, by Ryan Nagel. However, so you, you can use that. I'll put the link in the description below. However, when I tried to motion track that, it did not work. So I had to create my own thing to motion track. But if you're not motion tracking with um, the auto tracker, you could just use that. But if you want to motion track, I believe this is the only way to do it. I could be wrong on that, but I just couldn't motion track the Ryan Nagel um, uh, Instagram tag. Next thing you want to do is you want to add a text layer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Control T. If you didn't know that, Control T automatically 
um, creates a title right there so there's the title right here so I'm gonna go ahead I'm just gonna open up in this one right here and I'm just going to copy because I honestly don't know how to spell Christian McCaffrey off the top of my head so I'm gonna go ahead and just do this obviously it doesn't have to be Christian McCaffrey that's just the name of the player right here so I'll go ahead and paste it right here as you can see well wait a minute that doesn't fit inside of the tag right here so I'm gonna do to adjust the position this is just have what I have written down so I'll do the Y to 30 right there so I'll change the Y to 30 and the scale should be about 58% obviously if you're obviously it's, those are not gonna be the correct dimensions because if your name is not as long as Christian McCaffrey um, then obviously don't do the settings but just adjust the Y I would say probably keep the Y at 30 and then adjust the scale until it fits inside and that's a little too big but that's good for the tutorial right there and voila that's pretty much how you do it that's how you create this really cool Instagram tag effect right there completely in Final Cut Pro 10 so I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and create uh, option G right there um, and go ahead and basically create into a compound clip right here and basically what that allows you to do is now I can go ahead and move the entire thing so the entire thing moves around because it's inside of a compound clip anything you put inside a compound clip you can you know do that so you could make like a, a massive shape or whatever and as long as, it, as long as it's a compound clip you can move it um, all together you could do it without a compound clip but that's um, a real pain okay now that you have um, it created this is basically where it stops um, for, for the end of the tutorial for people who don't have the auto tracker what you could do is you could actually um, keyframe the position and then you could just basically just go frame by frame and make sure it stays in one position 100% you can do that but this I just want in this tutorial I just wanted to break down how to actually create the effect for free but this is going to be the second part. It's going to be more for people who have um, the Auto Tracker 2.0, and you want to, you know, this this is a little more advanced. So yes, it does cost money, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it, just in case you do have the Auto Tracker. And yes, it's pretty pricey. But if you're going to do high-end professional editing uh, in Final Cut, then this is one of the this is one of the, like the a must-have plugin because this is going to make it look so much more professional. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to create a rough selection right there. Go ahead, click on Track Editor right there. Um, track quality 100%. You can go through and figure out which ones you want. I'll just say let's say the tool I'll do position, scale, and rotation. That way it'll track any uh, track everything. So it might be a little more accurate. Let's just go ahead and do it here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, so just select it, track quality 100%, and then uh, specify which parts you want to track. It's probably good to do all of them, so let's go ahead and click right here. And now Final Cut Pro 10 is going to start auto-tracking the NFL logo. That way the Instagram tag stays stuck to that right there. And voila, so go ahead, it doesn't really matter that much. Go ahead and just export the data right there. And we'll wait for the data to export right there. I highly encourage you, if you've never heard this before, give this um, plugin a try. Once I kind of download it and figure it out, I 100% couldn't stop using this. So go over here. Now let's head over to track mode. You have to go to, to display mode right there. So let's go ahead and play it right here. This is kind of like a preview right there. So as you can see, there we go. That's much better. Obviously, you may want to fix a couple of things here and there, but that's a lot better than trying to manually um, keyframe it. Uh, sorry, unfortunately, if you want to get that kind of auto tracking for uh, that smooth, you're unfortunately going to have to spend a little bit of money. So go ahead and click on the drop zone right there, and we'll just select this right here, apply clip, and there you go. You have now have the uh, Instagram tag tracked to Christian McCaffrey right there. And as you can see, there we go. The Instagram tag stays tracked um, to Christian McCaffrey right there. And if you're wondering, wait a minute, I don't like that position. What I'm gonna do ahead and do is change the scale to 140 um, percent right there. And we'll just take the Y right there and we'll just adjust it um, uh, to that position right there. And that obviously um, looks a lot better right there and that's how you create this really cool um, Instagram tag effect um, in Final Cut Pro 10 so I'll go ahead and open up here right here and I'll just go ahead and kind of go over the settings um, right there Futura condensed there are basically all of the settings right there go ahead and click right here here are all the settings right here here are all the settings right here go to this one here are all the settings right here and then here are all of the settings 
um, right there. Anyways, hopefully you hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you want to watch, if you're new to this channel and you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, I upload new ones every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 190 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.